Hello, I'm Dave Barr, Director of Sales here at OPW. On behalf of the 120 employees here at the OPW Hamilton site, I want to thank you for your purchase. We appreciate your business. What we wanted to do with this short video is just kind of walk you through the steps involved with un unboxing, uh, rigging, and installing your new loading arm. Uh, what you'll notice here, we've got a couple of, of loading arms that have um, that are packed up, ready for shipment. You'll notice how all arms are are shipped in this protective wooden uh, boxing, which is important uh, to make sure that your arms arrive safely without damage. Um, you'll also notice we have a QR code that's on the outside of the box, and that's going to reference our repair center on our website, or you can reference this video. Uh, you'll also be able to reference all the all of all the repair videos, maintenance videos for all of our products, the swivel joints, the torsion springs, uh, so our repair center on our website. Um, the tools you'll need for your installation. Now obviously you'll need um, the tools to get your your arm uncrated, you know, a crowbar, hammer, uh, we'll use some uh, some strapping you know, to, to make sure your arm is secured inside the crate, so some 10 snips. Uh, and then you'll need your, your socket and, and wrench set for your mounting hardware. Okay, we've got the arm now unpacked, and you can see inside the crate to how we secure the arm. So we've got everything strapped down, secured, protected, so that it's gonna ship uh, and get to your site safely. Uh, we normally are going to have a box that's going to have all the all the accessories that are needed on your specific arm. So if there be a pillow block, a flange bearing, uh, any flange hardware, gaskets, uh, hardware, your spring cover, things like that, they're going to be packaged in a in a separate box. Uh, so look for that. And normally the the shipping documentation for your order will also be in that accessory box. So now let's start. The, the process of getting the arm up out of the crate and onto your platform. Now one important note with receiving your loading arms uh, is a general rule, uh, what we try to do is keep the arm as assembled as we can when we, we pack it to be shipped. Um, but that's not always possible. Sometimes these arms can be very long, it can have uh, heavy sections, have really long drop tubes, or it's just not practical to pack it and ship it. So we may have to split the arm into multiple sections. So your boom section would be shipped typically in its own crate, and then the outboard section would be shipped in a separate crate. How you pair things up if we do have to break the arms is by these metal tags. So all of the arms have a metal tag with the, the drawing number that applies to that specific arm. So if it is, it is split, we'll have the same tag on the boom section as we have on the outboard section. So you'll just need to pair up those numbers to make sure everything is, is uh, assembled correctly. All right, so we're about ready to start the lift to get the arm into place. Uh, great care needs to be taken you know, with this process. Loading arms can be very long, heavy. They're made up of swivel joints, so make sure the arm is secured. So as you lift it, everything is safe. Uh, so it's very important that, that uh, you're, you're just aware of what you're lifting. So we've got the arm kind of strapped up. We're gonna lift it into place. Uh, an important note before you, you start to lift. Um, the, ri the riser that you're gonna put the arm on. So here in our shop, we've got this kind of demo platform. We're gonna install the arm on this flange. So in the field, your mounting flange that you're gonna put the arm on, it's important that that flange is secured properly for the weight of the arm, the load of the arm, so that that flange is secure and not tilting. If that flange is not secure and you have some, um, once you get the arm in place and that, that, that mounting flange uh, starts to tilt, that will create some drifting with the arm, which again can create an unsafe situation, so we want to avoid that. So make sure that your mounting flange is properly secured and is able to support the weight of the arm. Uh, another point is you, before you begin the lift, if there's any hardware required for the arm itself, we're gonna include that hardware, but we do not include the mounting hardware that you're gonna mount the arm to your flange with. So any 
uh, flange mounting hardware, any gasketing that you're going to need as you get the arm into place. That is typically supplied by others. Uh, and that would be per the customer, the, the plant specs, uh, whatever gasketing, whatever mounting hardware that they would use within their, their system, that's what you would use there. So just, just an important note. So let's, let's begin the lift. Okay, so with the arm lifted, you get your spring pen, put that through, get your lever arm plugged in, get everything lined up, insert the pen. It's, it's secured on both sides with E-clips. So once that is secured, you can then lower the arm and we'll go and go through the spring adjustment. Okay, so now we have the arm up. It'll mount it on the, the inlet riser. Uh, we've got the spring arm connected. Uh, the last step is going to be your spring adjustment. So this arm was shipped with our 790 series spring, uh, which is adjusted with three quarter inch socket. We, we could also have our 890 spring, which is just a bigger version of this. It also adjusted with a socket wrench. Um, so adjustment is very easy with, with your, your socket wrench. You've got a three quarter inch uh, worm gear assembly that does the adjustment. So to do that adjustment, you want to lift the arm up in the air. And then you would, you would make the adjustment with, the, with your wrench. The other thing we do is we want to set the upward and the downward travel stop, which is done here. So our downward travel stop is done with this, this adjustment bolt. So you could set the downward angle that you want the arm to be at. Your upward stop is set with this. So remove these screws. To, to index this around uh, to set the, the upward angle of the arm. So we have downward and upward travel stops on the spring, your final spring assembly, and then you're ready to go. Okay. Okay, so there you have it. A fully installed loading arm. Um, the last thing you wanna do once you get the arm installed in service is kind of run the arm through its motion, make sure everything is level, uh, you're not getting any drifting. Again, you know, want to make sure that, that inlet riser is, is square and plumb so the arm is not going to want to drift on you. It should, should stay where you leave it. Uh, your final spring adjustment with the 790 or the 890, you're able to really dial in that spring adjustment to get it where you need for your application so it shouldn't be too heavy or too light. Uh, so get that spring adjustment dialed in. You can do your upward and your travel, your downward travel stop. Uh, get that set. So if there's overhead lighting or a canopy or handrails on your platform that you want to make sure you don't hit, you can get those set to, to get that arm working in that right uh, range of motion. And finally, if there's any testing requirements at your facility uh, that are needed as far as hydro testing once the arm's in place, that's when you would do it. And after that, you're ready to go. Um, so thank you again for uh, trusting OPW for your loading arm needs. If you ever need anything, we're here to help uh, with, with your new install, with any of your loading equipment within your facility. Uh, you can always reach out to your local OPW regional manager, your local OPW distributor, or you can call us here at the factory. Thanks again.